I'm Peter Pascal, I'm executive chef of Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital Somerset. My name is Karen Connolly. I'm a registered dietitian. I'm the oncology dietitian here at Steeplechase Cancer Center. Chef Pete and I have been doing cooking classes here for our oncology patients and their caregivers, and we come up with a new topic each month. So Pete creates the recipes, and then I do the nutritional information. I'm just constantly coming up with new recipes. It's just something I do every day. The Jersey Fresh Produce gives me an opportunity, especially in the spring and summertime, to come up with new items. You can't just keep doing the same blueberry dish over and over again. You have to come up with something new. So it's been really neat to show people what's local and what we have and how the, those foods can benefit them in improving their health for people that are wanting to prevent cancer and for people that are undergoing treatment. One of my recipes, the blueberry rosemary soup, I think it's a lot of fun. You know, you're taking blueberries and cinnamon and rosemary and you're mixing some things for some depth of flavor and you're making something interesting and then the Jersey Fresh blueberries make a big difference in that. So let's take a look at the blueberries first of all. They look great, right? Why are we gonna do Jersey Fresh blueberries? Well, we're gonna do Jersey Fresh blueberries because quite frankly, they're the best you can get in the country. There's a big difference between blueberries. So when it comes out this time of year, that's when you wanna use them. So Jersey Fresh blueberries, what can I do with them? Well, once you've made all your jams and your blueberry pancakes, now it's time to do something a little different. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a blueberry rosemary soup. So something a little different, maybe for a party you might have, plus it's cold, so it's a cold soup for the summer. First, we're gonna get our blueberries, which are right here, got our blueberries. We're gonna put them right in our pot. Now, most of the time I tell people to heat the pot first, heat the pot first, but you're not sauteing anything. All you're doing is you're just making a soup. So let's get all our blueberries in here. Every bit of blueberry in there. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a little lemon juice in there. Now, I like to get my lemon juice out of these things right here. See these? These are lemons. They're not those plastic things you find in the store that have the lemon juice in them, because I know a lot of people are using them. So I'm gonna, I got it right out of there. I squeezed it myself, so that's real lemon juice. And I'm gonna use a little cinnamon, a little bit of cinnamon. All right, so next we're gonna do is we're gonna do maple syrup. Maple syrup also gives it a, a good depth of flavor as a sweetener. Rather than using sugar or using brown sugar, the maple syrup gives a little something, a little something extra. So we're gonna pour that in there. And I'm getting rosemary, and I just chopped it up here. Now just a little bit of rosemary because rosemary is very strong. So I got a little almond milk here. I'm gonna pop my almond milk in there. So let me just turn my pot on here. What you wanna do is you're gonna bring it to a simmer and you're gonna let it go for about 10 to 15 minutes. What's gonna happen is the blueberries are gonna break up and they're gonna boil out and it's gonna get a little thicker and you'll see that happening. So we're just gonna stir it up a little and let it go, let it come to a boil. Okay, great, so now it's been about 10, 15 minutes. And as you can see here, it just, it has a nice thicker consistency. It's thickened up already a little bit on its own. But what we wanna do is we're gonna put an immersion blender in here and then we're gonna thicken it so it's all smooth for your soup. Now, for those of you who don't have an immersion blender, I highly recommend getting one. It's not just for this, you can use it for a lot of things. If you're making tomato sauce, if you're making another soup, you can always, you can always blend it real quick and it's safer than pouring your hot soup into a blender. All right, so just make sure it's fully submerged in there. All right, and then we're gonna put that up like that. So then the soup should be nice and smooth. Also important, you wanna make sure also it's submerged so you don't uh, get blueberry stuff all over your stovetop. And you can be cleaning that up, so, cause I'm not coming over to clean it up for you. All right, so now we have this here. What we wanna do is we wanna let it cool overnight. Now you could do it for a couple of hours and that'd be fine, but more overnight will be a little bit better. It thickens it a little bit more, really gets it ready. I have some ready over here on my left here. So let me get this. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna carefully put it into this bowl. I'm gonna put some into the bowl. Now remember, this is a blueberry soup, so you don't wanna, 
you don't want to have a lot of it. It's pretty heavy. So we're just going to fill our bowl about halfway. All right, I'm going to put this on the side. And now I'm going to top it, I'm going to garnish it with some hazelnuts. Now, why do we use hazelnuts? Because they're fantastic, that's why. So I'm just going to sprinkle this on top. And there we go. And then we have your Jersey Fresh Blueberry Rosemary Soup. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you have a great summer. And remember, you can use blueberries for other things than pancakes.